Um, but bootstrapping, for those of you who don't know, basically means just using the resources that you have available to you, so your savings or cash flow from the business to start a company. Um, this is the most typical way that people fund businesses, not because they want to, but because they have to. Other options, other avenues are not available to them. They're not at an attractive uh, opportunity, and so they're forced to, to bootstrap their company. Um, again, high-level considerations for bootstrapping. Uh, the type of business you are. Um, again, if this is not a, a high growth, uh, scalable business, you're probably going to end up bootstrapping. If this is a consulting company, it's probably a lot easier to bootstrap than something that requires a lot of capital to get off the ground. Um, the type of customers, are these people that can pay you up front for your business, or are they going to uh, you know, give you 90 day terms that you can't raise, raise money on? And so. If you can't bootstrap because you don't have any revenue coming in the door, you don't have any savings, this may not be an option available to you. Your own personal runway. Um, when we fund companies, we look to fund them for 12 to 18 months. Uh, you should have personal savings or access to capital for that same amount of time. Uh, I like to fund people that don't have an exit strategy. So in 12 to 18 months, they're kind of screwed. If they don't make it work, that means they're going to make it work. You should think through the same thing when you're bootstrapping, and so you don't want to give yourself sort of that exit. You want to say, hey, how long is my runway? How much money do I have to set aside for that?